I'm going to show you how to send and receive files using Microsoft Skype for Business. You can send files in any type of conversation window, an IM, a phone call, or an audio or video conversation. To demonstrate this, I'm going to open an IM window with Allison. I already have my file explorer open here. You can send any type of file this way, so I'm going to send her this photo by dragging it and dropping it into this conversation window. After you send the file, the person on the other end will need to click on it to receive it. You can see here that when Allison clicks on the file to download it on her end, Skype for Business will show you the download progress in the lower right hand corner. When the file is finished and the person on the other end has fully received it, Skype for Business will display that the file has been sent right underneath the preview of your file. This process is equally as simple when you're the one on the receiving end. When Allison sends me a file back, I will need to either click download or this arrow here to accept the file. After I click one of these options, the file will start downloading. Skype will show you the progress and then when it's finished, you can click on it to open it. If at any time you need to see the image again, you can click on it in the conversation window to reopen it. Skype for Business also automatically saves these files in a separate folder configured in your settings for easy access. To see where Skype is sending these files, click on the options icon in your client and navigate to file saving. This is where Skype for Business shows you the destination folder of any files that you agree to receive in Skype for Business. Note, you need to click on a file to agree to receive it before it will show up here. If you click Browse, you can choose a different folder or make a new destination folder for your files. I'm not going to do that, so I'll just hit Cancel. And you can hit OK to have Skype for Business save any changes you've made. Now, if I go back to my file explorer and navigate to the indicated folder, Documents, and then My Received Files, and this is the default location for all Skype for Business users, you can see the file Allison sent me is right here. This can be helpful later if, after closing the conversation window where Allison sent me this file, I realize that I need to look at it again. That's how you send and receive files with Microsoft Skype for Business.